There we are. We are live with episode three of Chasing Adventure. So, um, I think anything we want to cover before we jump in that we haven't already? Uh, we got a head. Yes. Yeah, we got a head. Um, yep. This is going to be one of those quests where you never go back to town to hand this quest in. It's just going to be... <laughs> We're just going to keep this head on us this whole time. <laughs> Unless we come up with the postal system. You know, send that, the head through the The idea mail. for the postal system is a lot easier to come up with than making the postal I mean, system. I can talk to animals. Animals can take a head somewhere. Yeah, but are they going <laughs> to eat the head before it gets there? So I mean, no, I'll, it doesn't have to bring in an herbivore. Yeah. We'll get ten squirrels to roll the head back to town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, no, I don't trust a squirrel with this task. Is badger or better? Like, <laughs> yeah, like there's a there's a minimum threshold of eating an animal, and I think squirrel falls under it. Mm -hmm. I think like a a pair of owls could do it. Yeah, collect a deer or something. Yeah, we could tie it to a deer. Fair. That's fair. Okay. The image of this deer wandering into town with a head tied onto its back, wandering into a necromancy thing and saying, yeah, it's fine. You've got a head. With, with a note hanging off the other antler. Like, yeah. yeah. Please, <laughs> please, money yeah. <laughs> please attach money to deer. He has, a little, he has a little bag around his neck. <laughs> yep. We can make this happen. <laughs> a village hunter is just going to kill the deer on their way back to you and be like, oh, a bonus! <laughs> it's a gold deer. <laughs> yeah. I killed this deer and it just had a bunch of gold on it, so I, I took it. What? You mean every animal doesn't just eat gold and when you, no, you know, kill it, it doesn't, it has it doesn't gold just like it? burst into piles of gold and gems and Every video swords. game I've ever played has lied to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Damn it, Not this isn't all Diablo. of them. There's a couple now that are doing that same thing of just like, yeah, you killed a dog. You find dog. You find dog stuff. Yeah. Stuff that was in a dog. <laughs> you rifle through his pockets and you find a picture of his dog family. <laughs> I still like the the silly Skyrim thing where anything that dies become becomes a chest. Mm. So it's like, oh, I'm overloaded on garbage. Let me dump it in a bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah excuse me, open, open up the mouth. And fill it with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need Will the it cheese, not despawn then unless you can it... stop combat. No, they have... Well, the corpses eventually despawn, but they do take a few eventually. days, I think. Yeah, but they but the game treats it as a chest as soon as it dies. I think that's hilarious. Morrowind is perfect for that, because any... Any NPC... So, I, I remember talking about this recently. To me. To you. Okay, cool. Morrowind. Morrowind has corpses go away by themselves, and all chests have weight limits themselves. So that sucks mm -hmm. if you want to, like, oh, I need to store stuff. Oh, my thing, my, like, chest is full, my uh, drawers are full, the side table's full. Oh, but there's a body on the ground that got killed. Okay, I'll put stuff in there. Oh, the body despawned, all my stuff is gone. Except bodies that are killed through scripted events like quests. <laughs> In the main town in Morrowind, I think Zen knows exactly what I'm talking about, there mm -hmm. is a character, there's a basically like, go investigate this murder, and you go get to his house and he's dead on the ground. Because you didn't kill him, he spawns in dead, he never despawns by himself. So that's an unlimited, you can just stuff him full of armor, and like, it's perfectly fine. He's still there for me, just storing <laughs> my gear. Her boy. Decorating yep. it with your own stuff. And just like in Skyrim and Oblivion, uh, the corpse will automatically equip the best armor and weapon you give it. <laughs> Could you pick him up and move him? I forget. No, when that was until Oblivion. Okay. That would have been great, because you just go around collecting scripted just dead bodies and around. hanging them around your house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the, I don't know if it was the case for bodies. Items, how was it with items? There was a thing with items. You couldn't while you had your inventory screen open and you, like, clicked to drag and drop an item onto the ground, it would drag it where your mouse left it. Like, if if mm. you released it on a table, it would appear on the table. If you just on the ground, it would appear on the ground. But other than that, and that was sort of while paused, it, I don't think it had anything like that. 
And that was that was an artifact from because when Morrowind was released on PC, it came with the construction set where you could build your own shit. Mm. And that that drag and drop was a feature of that. Nice. Anyway, um, we have a head to deal with. No, we have a what, what we have a giant to deal it? with. Yes. Well, you have to you have to get to them first. Um. So, uh, you all leveled up. Mm -hmm. Last session, which I think we have dealt with. Is there anything to talk about there? Uh, I've probably introduced you to you know my friend Ellie over here, who's definitely wearing all of my plate metal, and I just met him on the road. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. No, okay, so we seriously armor clad figure. In here. character, none of you know anything about this mysterious yeah. silent armor clad figure. They can talk, they probably don't a lot. Spectacular lying skills. Uh, you know nothing. They give a bow. Uh, and then this is Zedrex. He likes to sit on shoulder. Greetings. A resounding, sort of echoing voice comes from the dragon. I still only have a gun, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at Bert, being like, you got a, you got a mouse in your pocket or some other no. crazy thing you're going to pull out here? Play with my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play with it too much, it might go off. Um... <laughs> Try to spit it. <laughs> yeah, so, giant? We're, we're, we're on our way to see a giant about... Uh... What were we doing with that giant again? Oh, we need to uh, kill him, I believe, right, Zedrex? You told me he Indeed. needs to die. Indeed. He is a glutton of pride. Lusts Those for glory. Those are two different things. Those are the <laughs> four things now. <laughs> Wait, so Man, does he, he just... count as, like, multiple things, or just the one? Nay. The mortal sin machine over there. Wakes up and he's done four already. Five, technically, because if you just think about it, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. He only counts as one. No. Oh, I thought we could, like, you know, kill two giants with one sword. I do not think you could take on two giants at a time, even with I don't with think that metaphor number. works anymore when you remove the fact you throw it. Because, like, a sword still works to cut two things. You don't ruin the sword. I mean, my sword can be thrown. Yeah, but you get so, it back. You don't go yeah. find the rock later after you throw a rock at a bird. We are overdoing this silly little like analogy switch that Jordan wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think you're ready to head off then. Yep. Two um, giants, one head. Yes. Mm. So. Um, just a sec. Let's pull up the basic moves. Adventure moves. Actually, this is a peripheral. You're venturing out in search of someone. In lengthy pursuit of a quarry. Roll with nothing. If you already know the location, which you do, roll with advantage. Who would oh. like to do that roll? Um, I'll do it, because it's yeah, my it's, dealio. It's your quest. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, is there just a roll button? Um, I don't. I didn't there put is that not. purple move. No. All right. I'll just three d six. Keep two. Three d six. A nine. Okay. Perfect. So in that case, um, I will choose two of the things to happen. Um, in this case, the first thing, um, yeah, cool. I will describe both of these happen, but I think as you are venturing out, this is still a couple more days of, of journeying away. Um, as you get closer... The first thing that happens is you are impeded. A significant obstacle stands between you and your quarry. Uh, the thick, metallic, mer mercurial, which even though that doesn't know what it means, it's literally mercurial fumes, uh, start getting thicker and thicker as you get closer and closer to your destination, making it uh, 
making the air toxic to you. You know you're going to have to overcome this if you want to get close enough to this giant to fight it. Mm. Can't just pull out, you know, some cloth mask, tie it around her mouth, and there's this. Um, I'm thinking about I've, I've hard things about this. I've got a solution, I think. Um, it's, it's not technically what the move is used for, but environmentalist allows me to manipulate things like a flowing wind. Mm. That is nice. possible. Yes. So, what does it look like when you do that? Um, I think, I think Mike sort of just leans on his staff, closes his eyes and centers himself. And you can see, um, these spores begin to like descend out of the bottom of his, uh, of his mushroom cap hat looking top of the head. Mm -hmm. And they're picked up by the wind and, and begin to manifest a breeze that swirls around us, keeping the fumes at bay. Okay. I... I think I would call this ne not necessarily environmentalist, uh, but I would think this would be um, simply defying with wisdom. Fair enough. Let's see that in action. Seven. All right. Perfect. So, um, I think this is going to be temporary. Um, you, The winds are strong enough that as they blow and as they protect you, um, they get weaker and weaker as you get closer. Uh, they will protect you on your way there, but they, uh, you can sense that the winds are shifting as you get, as you travel. They will not protect you on your way back. Can I ponder this problem? About how you might protect yourself in the future from this? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So ask me a specific question. Oh. Um, what might be the best way to make some sort of um, preventative medicine for this. Okay. Sort of an antitoxin? Yeah. That we could construct on our way there and then have ready for the trick back. So we need to, like, pick up mushrooms that grow in this yeah. fog or whatever. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Roll with intelligence. Perfect. Um. So you know of a specific um it's not actually a um it's not a plant you need to hunt and kill a certain type of animal that is rumored to survive just fine in these fumes um it's a large probably dog-sized um termite creature like a, it looks kind of like a yeah long beetle um, supposedly, they have no trouble surviving here, um, and parts from them can be, are, are resistive to the toxic fumes, and if you prepare part of their, like, body, their, like, bug organs correctly, um, you can also temporarily gain that ability. Cool. Um, so yeah, I, I let Mike know about this. I feel like we need to, we need to kill one of these termites. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to find bugs. Yeah, I yeah, figured uh, you would be the expert in bug finding bugs. Finding. Yeah, of course. <laughs> why, why wouldn't I know how every bug works on the surface? Uh, I suppose I could get a bird's eye view and see if I'd find some of these suckers, but uh, that's about all I got. I never heard of none, nothing like a, 
them. You just need to find them. Four. I'll shoot them, and then the sorty boys will finish the rest. All right. Uh, to, to clarify, I don't have a sword. I have. No, I, it's the same thing. <laughs> you got a big piece of metal, and you hit stuff with it till it stops moving. Well, one does slashies, and one does smashies. I'm the smashy. He's the slashy. <laughs> Okay. Listen, you. What is, what is you, it with this group and semantics? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's the last line before we see a hawk fly off. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's what I'll, I shall. The do hawk says you. that. It's it's just the hawk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll attempt to shapeshift. All right. An eight. All right. So on an eight, you won't be able to transform back until you. Uh, oh, that's shape-shifting back. Oh, did I hit the wrong one? I think you hit the shape-shifting back without having fulfilled your instinct one. Okay. Just uh, click the other yeah. one, and then we'll use, we can use the eight. It's a spot or unwanted detention is the problem. Oh, now I get the 14. <laughs> it's my double six roll. Nope. Well, you're a peregrine <laughs> falcon, um, and you still transform, but you're put in a spot or draw unwanted attention. I think this is the second thing from your... Um. Yeah, I think this, this is also the second thing from your uh, navigate. Um, as you let's actually, you will be put in a spot of unwanted attention. Let's first see you try to spot the termites themselves. Okay, but. Yeah, that's that's I'll hold that for a couple seconds. What is spotting? Is that examine? That I think you're examining. Yeah, you, yeah, the whole area oh. as a falcon. 10. Nice. Okay. Um so I assume your question would be something like where are these where 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 can I find a termite? Yes. Perfect. Um so you find, um, at first, it looks like uh, you see a couple of the termites on the side of a hill. Um, they look like they are um, harvesting some kind of tree sap from one of the trees. Like, they seem to be biting into a large tree and eating some of the sap. Um, and, yeah, you see three of them there. And then... Yeah. You feel the rush of air um, as, and, and you, I think, just inches from your falcon body, a large, what almost feels like a log-sized arrow rockets past. That seems like overkill. <laughs> having, having missed <laughs> you just by inches. And uh, you look over in the direction it came from, and you see in the distance, very near the boiling lake, is a towering, gigantic figure with a bow as tall as he is knocking another log-sized arrow. You kill a falcon? Yeah. Oh, bitch, that almost hit me. That, you put that down. <laughs> the, figure, the figure is to fly back. very far away, but uh, due to its size and sheer momentum from the arrows. Yep. Okay, you're just gonna try and like drop to the ground and, and avoid every avoid them. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to the group as fast as I can. Because, okay. Because Mike is not cool with getting killed. Um, Perfect. As you yeah, start so... diving, I think um, you are going with speed. Then, as he uh, the the oh, giant yeah. starts shooting another arrow at you. With Dex. Perfect. Okay. Um, you are able to dive and avoid the uh, the arrows fairly straightforward and in a straightforward manner um, and make it back to the rest of the group. There's distant crashing as the arrows uh, hit the ground in the distance. Get back and assuming I can communicate in my form, uh, okay. I will inform them that y'all see that fucking shit? <laughs> Almost got killed up there. <laughs> First of all, your bugs is that way. 
but the giant, he's right the fuck over there and he's pissed or doesn't like Falcons or I'm going to say racist at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they are in different directions. Um, though it's more like 30 degrees off. It's not opposite directions. It's yeah, not too far off. They're just not in the same place. So to get to the bugs, we need to get past the giant, but we need the bugs to get to the giant. Well, they're sort of, they're broadly in a northeasterly direction, but one's to the left and the other's to the right. So, yeah, but I think a... we do the bugs first so we can, you know, survive. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't imagine that the giant didn't see right where I came. So you, you all want to might might want to keep your eyes on the horizon. Or log-sized fucking arrows coming at your head, because I know what that feels like. It's not fun. Well, let's just stay on the ground. There's a bunch of trees and mercury fog. It, it does log-sized kind of arrows. He literally pushed over a tree, put a fucking arrowhead on it, and shot it at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more more of like a ballista bolt-sized arrow. So. Can we draw him to the bugs and then we fight him at the bugs? Or why do we want still... to do that? Well, because we got to of... fight bugs and a giant. Uh, can we giant draw him no. away? When you say dog sized with these bugs, what what breed of dog? Um, are we talking corgi? Are we talking Tibetan? That's mastiff? fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Um, now that we've seen Golden them. Retriever, like okay, not so, like, huge but not small. Enough, not like big enough to rip you in half. Big enough to be not that easy to kill, but small enough that three of them aren't going to be nearly as bad as the giant. Look, if we can kill the giant, we can reanimate its corpse and have it bring us out of the Mercury before we, it actually becomes a problem. Let's just deal with it first while we're rested and not hurt. Yeah, can we, can we, can you pull the giant this way? We can set a little ambush for it. You want the giant to come here? Yeah, because this isn't in I the fire. Mercury cloud. <laughs> fire my gun. <laughs> Can you now, now he's coming your, here. Mike, can you set your trap as a bird? <laughs> uh, I, I would imagine thumbs would be required. <laughs> can I set your trap for you? Did you leave your trap kit behind, or do you do? You, or is it inside of? Is you? it like inside <laughs> no, your no, transformed? His no. He, uh, bring he would have taken him? his like backpack off. Okay. If when he does this, so okay. Okay. Um. I would like to set a trap that would. What kind of trap would you think is best? A uh, hole with spikes you. in it, so the giant's foot just. <gasps> yeah, All can right. we try to create a pit trap of some sort? I'm going. My mind just, is going back to Vietnam. I'm thinking punji sticks. I, just one point of logic: giant hole, not a lot of time. <laughs> Demolitionist is my solution. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna use your ability for the first time as the fighter. Absolutely, let's do this. And when you want to destroy an object, that object being a large area of ground. <laughs> I want to That's destroy. That's really the world. stretching it. <laughs> I, want, I would like to destroy want, the donut we call. I want the skeleton to stick out his arms and spin in a circle and like blend the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Like a living Quick, drill. Quick, auger bit. mode, go! <laughs> <laughs> go, go, catch it, drill! <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see what the fighter move says. Let's so, see if I can't put it on there one moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think one of the things for destroying a <laughs> large... Oh, you yeah, have it. Perfect. It says it's always possible! <laughs> Oh, it is always possible, but one of the things is uh, it's going to take hours slash days slash weeks. Mm. And, and we just fired. I cannot think of a way that without it taking at least days, you can build a, a dig a pit big enough for a giant like this. Okay. 
Uh, the, the auger skeleton. We <laughs> yes, including. No, I mean, including ev if everyone has a shovel and does it together, it would still take days for this, like, very large building sized. I don't okay. think it's his foot. I I have. You just want to get his make foot? an argument. Yeah, that's enough to like trip someone up. We need to trip him. That's true. To make yeah, it... let's do some trip wires. I think well, uh, trip wires is a strong word. We have rope, and he is a giant. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, trees. Uh, have you heard the trees. parable of the reed? Have Have you heard the tragedy of the Ewoks? <laughs> <laughs> can we Can we make some Ewok style traps to bust his kneecaps? Uh, sure, but that won't be demolitionist. That will probably be using the trap kit. Okay. Um, I will. Yeah. I will do that. Kneecap busters, I'll help with kneecap busters. We'll string some trees up. Yeah, the Ewoks Absolutely. did it in like an hour. Yeah. I think the Ewoks probably already had them just around somehow. At at AT, AT height, I don't know. Yeah, that seems <laughs> yeah. oddly the, convenient. The, yes, I know, that's Star Wars. But but there didn't seem to be any natural predators that were that big on that. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> did they have like them at a lower height and then they're like, let's okay, raise up. these up? Something like that. Yeah, we want two giant logs to swing and smash into its kneecaps. Yeah. We can hold the rope. It doesn't even need to be, like, a mechanically triggered trap. No, we could, we just time it. Okay. So, you're waiting here uh, after having set up the trap to see how it goes. Okay. Um. So, I think it seems like Vorfoli is the one who's really leading this. Or fully. Um, I think that using the trap kit, you might be defying the threat of the giant, at least partially. Using uh, what exactly do you think? Uh, I I, th I think, think this, this might be subterfuge. intelligence. Hey, no, this is subterfuge. <laughs> Yeah. Charisma. Yeah. I might need to reword that, by the way, because I <laughs> intended this to be lying, Social. not mm. anything sneaky at all. I'm just going with what's written on the paper. <laughs> does it say subterfuge? It does Charism say subterfuge. Charm, subterfuge, or social grace. Charisma sneak. Hey. Yeah, change it to I'm intrigue, and you're good. Yeah, fine. I'll switch mm -hmm. that to intrigue. Uh, I think this, from how you're Do describing it, this sounds like... one for calling out the teacher's misspelling? No. <laughs> or, dang it. With minus one, maybe. <laughs> well, that's what my int is, is minus one. <laughs> um, I will tweak that. Hold I'm going to help with this regardless. I, I plan on, like, you know, flying around, making the thing chase me, and going... I there. am helping as well, just to... I, I hope everyone's helping me. Well, that not everyone has dice. said they are. No, no, yeah, no, I'm helping, too. Okay, so um, everyone's working together to set up the trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could also just put Dallin on one of the logs, so when it swings to hit, Dallin's just there just to start hacking with swords. Oh, the, and, and just a reminder, if that goes <laughs> poorly, that would go extra poorly for Dallin. If it goes poorly, it's still going extra poorly for Dallin. Like, that's a moot point. It doesn't matter yeah. in what stage we, it messes up. We share in the fallout equally. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Absolutely. I'll, I will do that. That works. Too. I just I just mean that I fight from a very safe distance mm -hmm. and Dalin uh, doesn't. So, I'm rolling in here. Can I roll whiz? Sharp senses? Or dex? No. Speed or finesse? No, this is all set up in like calculation of of like okay, he'll step mm. here. This is this is you're doing some some like yeah physics. Cool. cool if you want to cool, smash cool, logs cool, together. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Trigonometry. Yeah. So that is Reaganomics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, intelligence. And I said you'd never use that. Yep. A nine. A nine. Okay. Um uh, 
only baits if you make a costly sacrifice or an ugly. Yeah, in this case, it's it's. Uh... Yeah, done. Wait, what now? Costly sacrifice <laughs> or ugly choice. Um, I think the only I think you need someone to be bait, basically for the trap. Oh, the bird, easy. Yep. <laughs> bird, there we go. He already offered that up. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, Listen, I'm only you offered it, and I just fine. accepted your offer. You, you sleep; it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. We have a team fund of wealth. Uh, I'm okay with giving you one from the wealth for your sacrifice. Yep. Like a hazard um, pay. I yeah. like the idea that yeah. hazard pay is hazard standard pay. practice here. Yep. This is you'd have to be like yeah you'd have to basically be in front of the giant's feet and like be almost in the trap and then fly away as quickly as possible as soon as it springs that if it tri if the giant trips it doesn't trip onto you fair enough okay oh, am i also defying then or no we will you will be later yeah as the trap triggers okay. basically to, to get away you likely will be um okay then it works uh we see you you hear everyone presumably goes quiet as there's uh you hear the first like again Jurassic Park T Rex approaches. There's a random glass of water that starts like having waves go through it, mm -hmm. puddles, things like that. We uh, set one of those specifically for that effect. Yeah, that's how you yeah. can tell it's going to be. We can stack cut. little pyramids of rocks just so they can roll down themselves. Exactly. <laughs> yep, that's how you helped. <laughs> it's not a proper trap without drama. Exactly. <laughs> um. And you see in the distance, like, uh, trees begin to, like, be, like, no be knocked over as this creature approaches. Um, and then you see the two trees right in front of you, in front of the, like, in front of the trap, get pulled apart by enormous uh, hands. Like, this creature is, in fact, taller uh, than the trees around you in this forest. Um and it pulls them apart to peer down between them at uh, you in bird form, um, Zen, or uh, Mike. And you hear a like groan from the creatures like, uh, and it, it starts like stepping towards you and starts reaching its hand towards you. Um, and you just force yourself to stay put. And then you hear, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then as it walks forward with its enormous, you, you see the creature close up now. It's wearing like, yeah, heavy um, onyx black, like armor of stone. It kind of looks, it reminds you of obsidian, actually. Um, a bit more <laughs> sparkly than typical obsidian. Um, and it reaches forward with a uh, gauntleted hand steps its uh, armored foot forward at the same time, and you hear the snap of, like, probably several heavy ropes tied together um, to be strong enough. And uh, then the creature, like, gives a, a roar of surprise, and the earth shakes again slightly as it starts tumbling forwards in, uh, on top of you. What do you do? Fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> go for the eyes! Timber! Go for the eyes! Nope, go I'm, for I'm the running. eyes. Full go face. For the tight. eyes, boo. Uh, oh, I'm running with an eight. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I think with an eight, um, you get away but the creature's roars are louder than any of you expected as it there's a crash as it hits the ground in surprise um and mike uh as the closest the roars are deafening um it's like a flashbang kind of thing without the flash um where you just like are are temporarily deafened um I think I'll give you a choice. You can either take one condition just from literal, like, sonic damage, basically, or you can be temporarily stunned and just, like, out of, like, you're not going to be able to act for a bit. 
uh, mm. just recovering. I'll take the condition. Okay. Uh, what makes the most sense for him? Uh, you could do these are just whatever way you want, really. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to put it into Wiz because I have a thing I want to do. Uh, You'll get XP I'm... though if you have it in Wiz. <laughs> All right. If it doesn't work, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I uh, just to clarify? So the giant is like armored on the outside because of obsidian, like from the dragon the glaze, yeah. correct? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's mm, dragonstone okay. actually. The dragonstone it's wearing does remind you of obsidian, but it looks more again less. It looks like less glassy uh, specifically and more. Uh, the, the carved crystal is what it looks like. So it is actually um, armor, not just, you know, it was burnt off. Yeah. It's harder in this spot. Correct. It ha Giants in general have that, but this creature is, yeah, wearing some kind of, yeah, dark uh, protective armor all over it. It's not like... There are still joints and gaps um, mm -hmm. in armor like he's, this. He's like 20 feet tall, you said? How tall is he? He's like huge, right? It's more like 40. Oh, Okay. Uh, I still have a real dumb plan that might work, yep. but I'll let you the, guys who have yeah. better plans. Have, uh, There's a loud crash as a... he hits the ground. You see the like bow and se and like a, a quiver of like larger than you arrows um, on its back, and you also see a similarly sized sword um, that seems to be made purely of that same dragon stone, like it's a single piece of uh, carved into the shape of a sword and sharpened. Oh, Would you say we have sense. entered combat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, you have two hold. Yes. Yes, I do. You just, you just stare him down. <laughs> you just oh. Stay on the ground. You, you stay and he, there. He can't <laughs> act. <laughs> oh, this makes my plan not as dumb anymore. <laughs> so, um, tell me how the armor system works. Like, does it have to narratively make sense for him to use armor, right? Um, you can sometimes bypass armor if it makes sense. If you, if you like, yeah, no, he has mm. armor. I take it off and stab him in the unarmored neck or chest. Or, or, or like, my very bad idea is... <laughs> is instead of going and hitting him on the outside, I would like to run into his mouth and start hitting him from the inside. <laughs> into his mouth. Yep, I'm just going in a reverse uh, Ant-Man. As I remember, his face was all Jonah. covered. I would yes, be quite happy. He is wearing a full like helmet right now. Yeah, up, open up the he falls, <laughs> yeah, like, and the and he falls on the open. ground is where we're at. Yes, he's on yeah. the ground right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Dallin, you're running up to open the visor to let. Oh my yep. gosh. <laughs> to let and go fully into the giant's mouth. Behind. Wait, is his nostril big enough? I could go up his nose instead. It would be a very tight. No, you're a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Barely, barely big enough. Yes. <laughs> Would it be safer than the mouth? Yes. There's no there's no I... bony protrusions that can chew on you in a How nose. Yeah, that is technically I'm safer. I'm the nose. You can't you wouldn't you can't fit all the way up the nose, but you can fit in the nostril. He's oh, I can't go dwarf. up the nose. No, you can't go up the nose into his uh, brain. Uh, no. What's because. Uh, See, now if I you had a cutty sinus. thing instead of a smashy thing, you could totally get to his brain. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'll go in his mouth then. I go, you go for the brain. I told Dallin. <laughs> right. Okay. How exactly do you expect me to get there? Up the nose. I mean, go for the eyes. Yeah, go for the eyes. I'm going I'm going for his inner a giant helmet on first, though. Is that hard to get off if he's not able to move? If his head is big oh, enough yes. that you can fit in his mouth, how heavy is that helmet? That's the thing. <laughs> Dallin, you get up to the helmet and you start, like, pulling on it, but it's literally made of stone, <laughs> and uh, it's bigger than you are. It's also an object, though. I'm... I could very object. well be demolitionist. I'm also thinking <laughs> that I'm getting Ellie to help me out of her here. Okay. Uh, How strong is a skeleton? It's eh. skeletons don't have muscles. They're as strong as the magic that animates them is. 
I suppose. This one, I think the bones strong. of the hard limit, really. Okay. But yeah, is the best way to get it off actually... See, the demolitionist I like, but I have a strong suspicion that if we, you know, pull the it takes hours or days again, that'll inhibit things. Can we try the demolition first, and then if it's like, yeah, that's not going to happen, then say, okay, I just, you know, defy with strength or something? Or is it an either or? Um, demolitionist wouldn't work for this. Um, demolitionist usually works best if you if it is, I, I guess, how to put this? You can use demolitionist to destroy the armor. But destroying the helmet within the, t the time frame of the giant being on the ground for a few seconds is not feasible, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, you can destroy the armor. Demolitionist works there, but it's it's meant for more downtime, kind of. Like, it's it's generating a sub-quest, and here's how to, to, to destroy a thing that needs to be destroyed. Okay, fair enough. In that case, probably just defying with strength with the help of the skeleton to just lever the silly helmet off. Okay, perfect. The skeleton is the lever. <laughs> <laughs> sure! It can fit the thin plate mail covered arms in the gaps and, you know. If I help with my little dragon, uh, would you get two extra dice? Or just one? How would the dragon help? Just moral support? And then he helps. It's if made help out of dragon. dragon. Does that mean... He's like this big, right? Dragon Your dragon will, stuff. I don't think, be able to help you. Uh, they're a warrior, which means they're trained to help fight. But in this case, it was it's more lifting. If you had a laborer, they might be able to help. Now, my dragon is smaller than me. Can he go off the, <laughs> up the giant's nose? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you lift the helmet I go in the mouth, my dragon goes up the nose I don't think you should go in the mouth I feel like that is the most dangerous part of this plan but he can't move or act because you're locking eyes with him Either well, way, he has a helmet on so I'm not locking eyes yeah. currently yeah let's see how the helmet thing goes first we gotta do the helmet one step at a time here I just had to generate my points at the start of combat alright, so Dallin you rush up, you grab the visor and you're just gonna like Try to rip it open? Yep, visor open as best we can do. And... 13! Whew. Okay, what was the help from? Uh, the companion. Okay. Um, I'm not sure your companion, uh, as a reminder, does it, is your companion a laborer? Uh, follow or move assist when your companion works alongside you. Count those cooperate and roll with advantage, but they're also exposed to costs or consequences. Okay, then we are good. And it's the same roll anyway, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It is, yes. I knew that going in. I was just uh, checking. Uh, can I? No, I can't actually put that in. Oh, Alright. Perfect. I don't so, see anything for a laborer. I thought? Uh, I no, I think that might have been removed. That probably was. Um, I mean, it, it might just be that they are not... It is in the fictional positioning. Are they able to help you or not? I think is what it would end up being. Your dragon is too small and doesn't have physical strength in that way to help. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it can help if you send it up its nose. Yeah, we're going to be fighting them from the inside. <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing. Yep. Okay. Um, in you go. Yep. yep. You lift open the visor. <laughs> and then I, from the I, bushes, I, I stick out a gun and he freezes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to work my way through his digestive tract. You're going to... What? What? Yeah, I'm just going to go smashing things on my way down. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and my dragon's going to smash, th scratch things on the way up. Okay. I think you're <laughs> engaging the giant <laughs> from the inside. We shall see how this goes. I'm also pretty sure he only doesn't move 
as long as it takes you to get in his mouth, because I can't imagine any non-magical power really stopping this anymore after something's in both its nose uh, and its mouth. Yeah, but once I'm inside... Then you're, once he, he's, once he swallows you, me. then he swallows you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, getting out is its own problem that I don't know how we're going to help you with. <laughs> Listen, there's two exits that I can think of. Yeah, but both have armor plating. And no? I have to squeeze through muscly weirdness to get there. So anyways, <laughs> let's roll to engage. Your companion is helping you. <laughs> okay, uh, engage three times. Uh, an eleven. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna inflict an extra condition. Okay. Yeah. So I think what ends up happening then, um, I know exactly what ends up happening. Okay. Um, you're running through, you're just, like, smashing and, and, and like, destroying. You break some teeth as you run, across, like, into the mouth. Um, you crack them. They seem quite tough, but you still crack them. Um, and you jump down the throat and start just, like, smashing at whatever you can. It's still pretty chalky, might be the right way to describe the texture in here. Like, it's rougher than you'd expect, but still flesh. Mm -hmm. Um... The rest of you outside just see, like, both both the dragon and Vorfoli disappear in, into the creature. Um, and the creature, like, stumbles and, like, gets up and looks very, like, stunned for a moment. And then it, uh, the visor, like, uh, assuming Dallin lets go and, and Skeleton. It... <laughs> Are you up well, the air? Those are the two yeah, choices. No. You don't no, want to. You're not letting go. So as it stands back up, it starts. You start dangling from its helmet. Yes, that's like a better idea than being on the ground. Okay, skeleton's letting go. Angry. Skeleton is not uh, dangling with you. Um, but uh, it it starts like rearing its head back, and you hear a enormous sneeze beginning to happen, as uh, the creature is, I think, like ah uh, ah. Uh, Achoo! Um, it sneezes out your dragon at like rapid force and speed, <laughs> like a cannon. <laughs> yeah, like a cannon. Um, you see like this dark spot, like shoot out of the creature uh, creature's nose, and just like for now, we'll like team rocket away. Basically, <laughs> this creature's already been said to have very powerful voice and and lungs. It sneezes loud and hard. Hmm. Um, your dragon is uh, not here anymore. <laughs> he's not on this planet anymore. Is what you're he's gone back to the dwarves. <laughs> yeah, he's gone back to the dragon in the sky. Um, can and we catch you want to? Yes, you can try to catch it. Um, Bro. but to be clear of what might happen here, you very much could catch it and then be carried off with it, and shoot off into the air with it. Hmm. That's a risk. That is probably too much of a risk to actually work. We did describe it as Team Rocket-like, so yeah, mm -hmm. when yeah. something heavy runs into Team Rocket, that it spins for a little bit, and then all of it blasts off. That sounds about right, alright. <laughs> it, it can go blast away, I can't think of catching it easily. Okay. Um, right, there goes one of my armors. <laughs> Oh, that was just it. That was the dragon. What's happening to you is stomach acid, basically. As mm -hmm. you work your way down towards it, um, yeah, no, the, you see, um, everything is very, very warm in here, and... Yeah, acid reflux now. Yeah, and, uh, not only that, you, and now that you're down here, you can see, um, <clears throat> the stomach acid in this creature is a fiery red, and it's glowing slightly. Is this lava? It reminds you of it. It looks too thin to be actual lava, but it certainly Water is lava-esque. Lava? Bio lava. <laughs> yep. Um, and it's of course, the lava from the Netflix show "The Floor Is Lava." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Having not seen it all, it's yes. an amazing game show. It's exactly like what you think it is. Perfect. Um, 
you fall into that briefly. It doesn't luckily completely melt you and incinerate you immediately like lava would. Um, and you splash your way out of it uh, to like the edge of the stomach and find something probably very gross to hold on to. And you take one condition. Uh, You've now reached oh. the stomach of this creature. Mm. You know, oh. We're going on a magic like school bus Tokyo journey. And the whale, not, uh... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a shame that uh, some of my armor melted a little bit instead of me taking the condition. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, Dallin, uh, you are dangling there. Um, Mike, you see this happening. Mm. And... I'm not sure who wants to act first. The creature's still a bit stunned, and, like, what just happened? Uh, you still have the momentum to act. Uh, lowercase m. Um, if any I... of you want to jump on this opportunity. I, I can tamper him again. Tamper or trap him again. Okay. Uh, so that's that's an option. I mean, the biggest reason I didn't want to let go is because this is the only place we can easily get access to something in an armor. So my next action was going to be something along the lines of, you know, get steady, maybe uh, swing some legs inside of the visor, make it so that there's some ability to actually access something that's not armor. Okay, in which case, yes. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to maneuver so that I'm not hanging off by my arms, but, you okay. know, sitting on the lift or something there. Okay. That sounds under good. The you still want to be under the visor. Okay. Yeah. Remember, the visor's for the eyes. You're just going to be, like, standing on its, like, on the, just on yep, the eyelid, on the basically. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm assuming there's a ledge of metal, too. There will be, yeah, yeah. There is. So that's what you can stand on. It, it's, a uh, Again, heavy rock. All right. Uh, I think this is to defy with dexterity to get into the right position. I think so, yeah. And nothing <clears throat> special on this one, unfortunately. So let's see how it goes. Um, well, very nice. The dice are all right, then. very uh, happy with you this week. Um, yeah, no, you maneuver, <clears throat> you find yourself, um, like, grabbing onto the sides of, like, yeah, what, what is, is just a, there's a sort of, yeah, faceplate that's open, and so, I guess you're, you're, it, it includes, like, a space for the mouth, so I think you're sort of grabbed onto the side, and you're, like, like, standing in front of his cheek or something like that, where the, the faceplate meets the edge, um, but, uh, you see the giant, like, beach ball sized eyes uh focus finally and both look directly at you beautiful we've already established that the eyes are the easiest way to take this thing down last session that's true i would very much like to chuck a sword at them okay um i mean that will be perfect um i think you're engaging uh in melee even though you're throwing the sword oh. Okay. Because uh, you don't have to throw the sword to reach them with your like, it, you're not that. It's no, not. It's, it's not that big. Thing. The giant is. It's forty feet, but it's not a hundred feet. Um, All right. You can reach it without throwing the sword, and the giant is going to try and reach for you because if there's a thing in your face, you reach for it first. That makes sense. Uh. You know, as I definitely, deftly swung onto the thing, can I have pulled out a flask of whiskey? Okay, <laughs> how on earth do you use this when you ever you need it? So you here's the thing in this like... specific case. <laughs> you need one hand to hold on to where you're standing and one hand to hold your sword. What you can uh, do is push yourself so to if... give yourself conditions. So if you want to do something Ooh, supremely stupid right. and drink the flask of whiskey without ho having a hand hold on where you're standing and just, like, balance there while swinging your sword. That would be exceptionally brave. Yeah, I like this idea of pushing yourself. So let's see just where that was. Take a condition, roll with advantage. Does it actually give you another dice? No, it does give you another it, dice. Yes, advantage. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. And technically, if you wanted to, I don't know if you want to while fighting the giant, you could push yourself in strength, give yourself the three dice, and then now you have a condition in strength, which will 
then generate XP every time you use strength. It conditions after you push yourself, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't give you XP this time. I think let's put the condition into deck. Uh, basically, as I'm swinging up there, my finger's caught in something and a little bit sore. Okay. All right. And that's an 11. That was needed. Yes. Thank you, what do you choose? And I... Um... Take his sight okay, on him. Okay, so it's an extra Take condition. Or a <laughs> condition. Yeah, I'm giving an extra condition. You're inflicting an extra condition? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, assuming he can't armor the damage You've inside, dealt he had two. Yes. And that was no, four. He, he is not armoring any of these. Um, so, you, yeah, you, like, stab your sword deep into this creature's eye, as deep as it can go. Um, and then you feel a large gauntleted hand wrap around you. And as the creature screams in agony, again, like, near deafening anyone nearby, um, probably except for Foley, bit of a cushion effect yeah um, <laughs> i don't know that reverb inside that might be rough <laughs> i don't know honestly i honestly don't know for so some reason for... yeah i think there's a large like heavy heartbeat that's instead being heard inside the stomach Ooh, i'm gonna ask about that in a second but go ahead cool um the creature yeah grabs um and just like panic throws you uh, as far as it can um, you go flying. You don't go Team Rocket, actually. It and it's it sees the dragon harder, but you still go flying. Um, and uh, into a nearby tree. Uh, the tree starts tipping like like it's it's not like a thick pine tree. This one is you're sort of hitting near the top of the tree, and it's a younger yeah. one. Uh, you still take two conditions though. The the tree Ooh. caught your fall. Um, oh, let me check one other thing. Do you want the two condition? Um, one would be great. Two is a little tough. All right. <laughs> Any chance I can use environmentalist to shape the tree and break her fall? I don't think so. Environmentalist is intentionally limited, so it can't be used for literally everything. Okay. Um, can I shoot him dead before the throw? That's the thing. He's dead. Because oh, as he killed him, as he <laughs> yeah no you you dealt four conditions, which is not a small amount. Um, as Dallin was thrown uh, against the tree, the creature like screams again, and then like is like collapses to the ground. Um, the sword disappears after a moment, and uh, the creature is, I would say, mortally wounded, um, and not able to fight back. It's not technically dead yet. I like to kill it. Okay, how do you kill it? You shoot it in the head. <laughs> the other eye. Okay. You shoot Everyone's it. Like, I mean you shoot it with a regular bullet and the on its skin and it only go it doesn't go deep enough to actually cause a significant a more than a skin deep wound. Uh... It is. Um Yeah, you did get piercing for that. Okay. Then yes. If you aim right, you can you can kill it. It's a small wound, but it still kills it. Yeah. Carefully aim. Yep. Okay. My, no, my you, question like, was going to ask. The dice, were, the dice were very <laughs> friendly. Yeah, you were fully inside. You hear the heartbeat start slowing. Um... Yeah, no, you guys dealt a... This thing was very heavily armored, hit really hard, but you bypassed those. And the dice were very um, friendly. We're not done yet. <laughs> Someone's I would like, still inside. <laughs> I would like to climb out the way I came in. I assume he's prone now? Yeah, I think you're going to have to defy to do that, because as he's been tipping over... Um, the totally not lava stomach acid has kind of been churning a bit around. Mm. Um, it's going to be difficult to climb out of an esophagus. It's not really. Do he still have armor so. on? Did the armor dissolve like the sword? Uh, his sword does not dissolve. No, um, the sword that was uh, he was stabbed with by Dallin teleported back to Dallin. Back to oh, him. okay, all right. I thought he had magic sword and armor. Nope. Oh, that's um... also there. Okay, 
yeah, I'm going to uh, Shawshank out of this man. Just climb. That's, <laughs> that's not climbing out the mouth. If you're nope, Shawshank. I know. <laughs> Reverse Shawshank. <laughs> okay, that's quite the journey. No, I'm not going down. I'm going up. I reverse shawshanking. Reverse shawshanking. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just powering through. I think you might my be. Muscles. Yeah, you're just like I'm forcing forcing yourself up and out of there. Yep. This is uh, where I want constitution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm gonna push that's myself. That's really the uh, the thing we're we're testing here. It's not about how strong you are. It's smell it's check. About how long you can keep going. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a charisma uh condition to push myself. Of I thought he smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Uh, defy with strength. I have a kitten attempting to scratch the screen. Yep. At eleven. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, you climb your way out of there. It's mm. awful, but you get out. Uh, I would like to take one of his shattered teeth, or like a bit of shattered tooth as yeah. a trophy. Yeah, it's about the size of... Your face? <sighs> larger than a basketball, smaller than a beach ball. Okay. You can make a really scary mask if you yeah. peel off a like a bigger piece and just have a I creepy wanna, giant tooth. I want to have a big enough. Yeah, actually, piece including the roots, it mask. would be about as big as a beach ball because of the roots. Yeah, is that enough to carve a tooth mask? From? Probably. Yes. You could make a tooth helmet. <laughs> yeah, like a like a dentist mask on where you got the, the <laughs> yeah. thing on the top. Still, it's the root of the tooth, and then I just put it on my. Head. I was thinking you you cut the root off and you hollow it, but you got the flat of the tooth as the yeah, top like of the helmet. On the top. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I mean, uh, there's while, always room for more hats. While uh, Orfoli is making his way down uptown, um, <laughs> I will I will loot the body. Because that's a thing adventurers must do. That is. I would also like to. I would like to assist in looting. If loot the body means try and get the armor off in preparation to, you know, reanimate said giant. You no, know, I, I want. I want to know what cool shit he has in his pockets before I go strip, field stripping a giant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, please roll a d6 plus four. D6 plus four. Six. All right. Um. Ooh. I think um Treasure Editor says a piece of useful equipment. So I'm trying to think of what he has on him that would be adapted to something that's immediately usable. I think The answer to that might actually be. Uh, that's too gruesome. I think the arrowheads on his gigantic arrows um, are legitimately. Um, yeah, I think they're like useful. Um, Spears is what they could probably be used as, I think. Um, they'd be a bit thicker than that. They're made of the same um, dragon stone, actually, that you see everything else he has seems to be made of as well. Um, it's a small enough piece that you could also re-carve it um, if you had the tools a lot more easily than the rest of it because it's too big to easily move. But you find, yeah, several dragon stone arrowheads. Um, each of them are about a foot uh, a foot across, pointed, and fairly sort of a typical arrowhead shape. So I guess they could be used as daggers too. That's a shovel Weird. head. 
That's the size of a shot. That's not a dagger. That's no, the size they of could, a but they're, they are sharpened. So they're like a double, the, like you hold a thing and then there's like a knife and a knife in a triangle shape. So it could be yeah. kind of used like very strange it, daggers. It's the biggest punching dagger you've ever seen. Yeah. We could, <laughs> we could also put it on a big stick and it's already on a big stick. Yeah, we you turn their the axe stick. heads, basically. They'd work as axe yeah. heads. We could cut the stick down and have a shovel and a, or a bludgeoning instrument. they would make great entrenching tools. Mm-hmm. And they are sharpened. I and mean, we're dragon. trying to figure out how to dig a pit. Now we have shovels to do it. Yep. Almost the unbreakable giants. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about these. They don't... Uh, they You definitely need special tools to mess with Dragonstone, because it's normally, yeah, very, very resistant to wear and tear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Let's, um, let's take this giant's dignity as well as his life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it time? Wait, Look, did we not already do that? And loot. <laughs> if we can get him back to town, it'll be great. We can use him to fight the other dragon. Yeah, we start pulling off large chunks of armor. Yep. Okay. As so is this that... actual armor? Or is this like, because you said he had like dragonstone in his skin and things? Is he this... has obsidian and it sort of patches on his skin, um, as ma- uh, many giants do if they get like burned by the lava, the lava will just stay there and cool and dry uh, into a patch of obsidian. This looks like obsidian, uh, but it refracts light differently. It's not quite as glass-like. It's more of a thick crystal, um, even though it, it, it would look very uh, similar unless you had them side by side, which you do in this case. Um, yeah, it's effectively a full plate suit for this giant's size of it. Yeah, um, the so sword, we just go around the cutting bow. straps. Yep. No, it, he has straps. Um, I think that yeah, you don't know what kind of creature the leather that the straps are made out of it, but it's like single side, like scaled up single straps of leather in a like, I don't want to know what kind of skin or how large the creature would be that had straps this big. Or could be made to use it. Or it's woven. It could be woven. It's not. It's leather. I mean, woven leather. Oh, okay. Or like they braided a strap out of normal size strips of leather rather than. Yeah, but it was made by giants for giants. So they probably also have. Instead of me to slay a giant monster, a huge cow. Yeah, (laughs) something like that. It It was probably some giant animal. Marissa, what were you saying? How intelligent are giants, then, like, uh, along the scale of... Would you like to ponder that? Yes, I would. Okay. Something along the lines. Um, do, do, do have to ask the question first or afterwards? Uh, before the roll, which you just uh, did, I okay. assume? Okay, yeah. How intelligent are giants? Like, where is this leather coming from? Why is this not obsidian? What is it? Okay. Type all right. Uh, does educated Faye, educated Skellington over there Not help for at all? Faye. Nope. Fair enough. Ooh, still ten. A ten. Cool. <laughs> um, so I will ask you how you know this. Um, uh, but actually, for sorry, say how you might know this first. That is one part we missed. It happens before the roll. Okay. Um. Seen something like it before a really long time ago. Okay. Uh, robbed a group of travelers way back when. What have you seen something like then? Like giant leather? Uh, I think I'm more interested in what on earth the obsidian stuff is. Is that your question? You've seen the dragon stone before. Yeah, the dragon stone, obsidian, not obsidian. Is the Dragonstone something that we just know what it is? or No. Okay, then I'm more interested in trying to figure out what that is. And... Okay. Um, so the Dragonstone is um, literally it, it is the equivalent of wearing a dragon bone in a much more like exact one-to-one sense, in that it is literally a dragon was killed, and its pieces 
its physical, like, crystal body was broken and carved into this armor, weapon, etc. I, th- I thought we knew that already. Uh, knew that. Okay, Marissa, did you know that? I remember you telling us that. Yeah, I think we did figure that out, but... Let me see if I can't rephrase. Who made giant armor? Are they smart enough I to, see. you know, make it themselves, or did someone give it to them? I see. Um, this looks like it was made by... Uh, you've, you've never seen another artist... Uh, art. You've never seen another style like this. Um, if you look over the armor, you can see the work from the carving tools that were used to make this, compared to normal uh, other dragonstone things. <clears throat> and the tools were also supersized um, as well. It is very likely that the giants themselves made it. If the giants themselves can make it, then they are absolutely a degree of intelligent. Um, they have some kind of yeah, tools of, of crafting and things like that up there. No one knows a lot about the giants because they're fairly reclusive, but um, there are many rumors. And they seem to have... This, this one did have a name. Um, I can't remember what that name was, but... Kron. Ah. <clears throat> and yeah. No, the, the giants are presumed to be... Um, have, they have an unknown intelligence. A lot of people presume them to be a very uh, primitive intelligence, but no one knows for sure. Well, they're capable of crafting a suit of armor, which is fairly impressive, so... Yeah. Full plate is, is a lot. So? Do you take out the potion? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we've got the armor off, I will... Oh, uh, I forgot to mention... the process of bring him back. <laughs> On your, as you're taking off the armor, uh, your dragon returns, um, or fully flies back. Um, How was it, your flight? I took a dip in the boiling mirror to get the snot off. Uh, you biologicals are so wet all the time. Yeah, I went in the stomach, my man. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, so gonna say nothing, but sorry. you two is you two is a rap. You might wanna wash up a little. Yeah. I, I can't do what he did. Stay six feet back then. I'm sorry, speak up. I did I, not I, see a big source of water nearby. <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. We could wait until we get back to town. It's right next to no, the ocean. No, it can't. Just... It cannot wait till we get back to town. You want me to go dip in the boiling mercury? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying sometime between leaving the mercury lands and going to town, you will be taking a bath. If there is a area of water to do so, I will. If not, you're going Look, to just have to deal with it. we pool our water supplies, maybe we can find something. Oh, um... I swapped out my water supplies for Diet Pepsi back in town. <laughs> I see the blood bank uh, is a Pepsi carrier, not a Coca-Cola carrier. <laughs> so. You can thank the boys in product placement for that. <laughs> <laughs> All Diet right. Pepsi, it was great on Donut World. <laughs> And as everyone discusses this, yeah, no, I will start smearing the port- poultice on whatever bits of the gi- giant. Will this take hours, time. days, or weeks to <laughs> lather up the giant? I don't think your intent was to cover the whole skin, was it? I thought this was like a, a consumable potion, like put it in its mouth. I thought it was a poultice. Which it was, was a poultice. Yeah, it was a oh, poultice. it is a poultice, was, uh, right? Speaks to lotion. Start, must, start applying. Must start rubbing. Lather the dead giant. <laughs> All right. All right. Yep. Everyone grab a glop of wool. That right there is oddly sensual. I, I didn't want to say that out loud. <laughs> I'll take the inside and I'll rub that. <laughs> yep. Rubbing the giant skin is like rubbing, not quite as rough as sand, uh, as like sandpaper, but it's not that far off. Did he ever moisturize? 
<laughs> it's a gray and stony skin. Before we revive this giant, I would like to take out uh, my adventuring knife and carve property of on the giant's <laughs> forehead. Brand the giant? Yeah. Property of what, exactly? Um... We have, like a government like adventure group. we have like a government title. <laughs> What's our tax deductible name? Oh. Yeah, property of Adventuring Group 7459A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Chosen Two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Dude, I don't know I if we have a specific one? name at, right now. Hold on. <laughs> it's just, otherwise, it's just be like property of the, the Chosen Heroes or something. Instead of well, the Chosen Ones, it's the Chosen Twos. <laughs> Can I, can I interject that bringing this thing back to life is is illegal? Do we no, really want... it's not bones. Uh, I mean, it has not, bones in it. We're not taking the bones out of it. That's yeah. the problem. It could debone itself. <laughs> mm. uh, no. <laughs> I don't think it can. It's illegal, but we are the chosen heroes. Who's going to bother us about it? Um, yeah, who's who's going to check if it has bones? There, right, there's just, an entire just, government organization dedicated to checking if it has bones. We we just did a job for them. Yeah, but I write <laughs> uh, tree snapper on its forehead in very large letters. I would hurry up, says your dragon. I'm trying to antagonize Something people Something is with wrong it. here, it says. We're next to a boiling lake of mercury on a donut planet and we're rubbing a poultice on a dead giant you know what to I bring forgot? it back to life. What is that here, son? Like, what and is we're right? worried about if it's illegal because it has bones in it still. You know Everything forgot? is wrong here. The toxic mercury clouds. The dragon doesn't say anything. It just takes off into the air and starts like, acting a bit like you did when you were a hawk, like keeping an eye out on things, looking, for, looking to see what trouble might be. All right, well, are there some... Is there a magic phrase? Uh, do we have to do a dance? What? what how do we... Right. Read the instructions. It came with instructions, is it not? They're in Chinese, I chip. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we also buy uh, out-of-date giant cream? Yes, yes. we did yes. buy out-of-date giant expiration cream. Date. Out of date, uh... Yes, you did. Okay. All right, well, let's... Turn it on. We finish Lubin. Okay. Okay. Um, so, 40 feet. I am 80 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am on its shoulders. <laughs> okay. I need yep. direct so, access to an orifice. Tie the last little bit to the bottom of its foot and, you know, scurry back so that it can actually stand up without stepping on me. Perfect. Apparently, um, the instructions say, if, as much as you can translate, I suppose, uh, you apply it, and then you wait a few minutes and let it soak in, um, and it should bind to the first creature who sees it. Who it sees, rather. Kind of like a baby chick. I I would like to change where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right in front of this thing, like, blind like be... helmet on in front of... Like... <laughs> Ooh, ooh, let's let's chain it so it it follows the skeleton who follows you. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. I was just gonna say I'm standing on its nose right next to its eyeball. Yeah, one of us by each eye. One, us, one eye stabbed. As a reminder. Thing here. The other, the other eyeball, the non-stabbed one. Yeah, both of you are standing next to this non-stabbed eyeball. <laughs> Make sure there aren't problems when this thing wakes up. Yep. Okay. Are you jostling for to get closer to than the other person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, uh, Marissa, you're the one who said yes first, and seemed like you're the one. <laughs> uh, I will ask. Yeah, I will ask you to roll to jostle. Uh, sure. This In this case, roll? I think this would be defying. Uh, it seems if if you're like physically pushing him out of the way, and you're like literally like, no, you get out of the way. No, you get out of the way. Then that would be strength. Okay, so basically, this is a substitute roll for whatever is going to happen when the giant comes. Not necessarily. 
but it might inform. Okay. This is literally this just between you two. Printing rights. Yeah. I would like to impose disadvantage on this. Because I am fighting Seven back. <laughs> yep. We're jostling for position. Yep. All right, absolutely. Uh, I'll roll it with strength, and I will roll it with disadvantage. <gasps> Wait. Before you do that, can I only... Can I only do this to? Can I only do "I am the law" to an NPC? Uh, I think it says NPC in it. Does okay, it? it does. Okay. I am lawfully uh, conducting necromancy <laughs> on bones. <laughs> okay. Okay. Battle momentum is not a thing. Where's the moves? There we are. Defy. Waste strength. You could also talk about it if you want to convince each other. That has a specific thing for using against other players, but I don't think That's... you're doing that. Double disadvantage count, because I've just realized that I'm addition too. <laughs> yes, four dice with the disadvantage. Beautiful. Yeah, the two of you are just standing in front of the dead giant, shoving each other. Yes! <laughs> and we're playing that one Mario mini game. Oh, and wow. Dice. Still got an A. Yeah, the dice are very high. Okay. So I think on an eight, um, oh, an eight is a success. So I think it's an ugly choice. I have a silly idea. Oh, it's expired. It only recognizes you if you're like still touching it. We have a race to the actual thing itself. No, I. I do like the idea. Yeah. The giant wakes up. Um, and basically, yeah, no. You are the leader and it will follow you. But um, it looks like it basically can't see very easily. More than a few feet in front of it. At least with this eye. And so you kind of need to be either like on its shoulder or you need to be like directly managing it or directing it for it to act for you. You need to rat tattooey this thing. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I was thinking Shrek on the giant gingerbread man from Shrek 2, but okay. Could be that too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um Yeah, no, I think this creature's been the the It's a bit out of date. Parts of it aren't really working the way they did when it was alive. Weren't fully reanimated. Someone beat up beat it up on the inside. For some reason, it's got tendons but no muscles. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get weird. It's like quap. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, goal of this thing is okay. Have it pick up the armor that is way too heavy for us to shift, and anything else have we we happen to find, and we'll get back to town with us. Okay. The and creature. I will absolutely work with this thing through ratatouing it. <laughs> Perfect. Let's make a follower for you. <laughs> <laughs> until further, until things change, and it might, while you are working with this thing, you have another follower. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I think well, he's for sure Meek, because he's undead. Yes. Meek? Um, you get to choose a second. We'll work together, I guess, on this, because it's an already existing yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm good with that. Um, Warrior, I think, makes the most sense otherwise. Yeah, judging from how... Well, we could just go straight with Meek. You could just stay with Meek. I think it's, I think it's just Meek. Okay. I think so, because it's that's part of why the thing was expired. It's not really going to be hitting anything much anymore. It could, but it's not the same. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just big. mobile, but not aggressive at all. Yep, and yeah. of course, their make cost is assistance. They need your help at the most inopportune moments, of course, which is... All of them. <laughs> to do anything, basically, they need to manage. All them. moments they need assistance. <laughs> um, other descriptors would include. Um, uh, terrifying. The... <laughs> Since it's undead. Yeah, terrifying. And it won't mind. Can we hollow out the chest cavity and just ride in this guy? <laughs> Wait, there ride. is a hideout asset. <laughs> <laughs> We make it our hideout. Mobile battle station. 
wait, no, what we have to do is we, someone gets one arm, someone gets another arm, and then we, each, like, one person gets no, a I leg, and another leg, you're head. Head. So anyways. I mean, Ultron's um, a good move, or we could get a whole house, cut out the center, <laughs> shove it in the house. So it will stop working if you do that as a follower. Oh, uh, okay. But can, it can is... we get it like a we backpack that we can ride it? Well, at the moment, I would say just have it, you know, stick out its arms and sit on those. It walks with, you know, its arms out the entire time. Terrifying, stubborn, and self-sufficient are what it has. Navigate may be a bit much for self-sufficient, but it obviously is undead, so it doesn't really need to live off the land. Yeah, it doesn't eat. Self-sustaining. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Assistance and self-sufficient. We no have a, a mobile base now. <laughs> Oh, he's a giant right now. We haven't done the upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. That comes later. Back to the witch. So, <laughs> anyways, um, your dragon, Vorfoli, um, flies back down to everyone. And, um, actually, yeah, I think he flies back down and it just has a moment, um, saying, uh, I don't actually think he says anything more than basically a, a cry of alarm, I guess. He would. He doesn't say to do anything specific. Um, but uh, he says, something is happening! And then all of you um, hear the sound of something in the distance, in the direction of the boiling lake, boiling mirror, um, ripping. It sounds like a well, giant-sized, tearing fabric, uh, or tearing paper, actually. Is this a sound I've heard before? Do you want to ponder it? I don't know. Um, this, is this a sprinkle? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I mean, dealt with one directly, so... Yeah. I wasn't sure if you had. Uh, it is, in fact, the sound of a sprinkle <gasps> manifesting just now. The Fabe Living Gate, a sprinkle. Yep. You hear it in the distance, near the, the boiling mirror. From the top of the, you know, giant... You can't see it from here. There's, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go on top. From his head, I yell down at the uh, skeleton, like, do you know how to close that? Um... The skeleton can speak, and it hasn't had it needed to before, but I don't think it's going to yet. Um, it just nods. Oh, great. I'll be the thing nodding, and, you know, start climbing down off the giant's head to get into a range where it can talk to me where no one... Do we have a rope or something? Me. Yeah. But... Tie a rope up on there. To make a so pulley on, like, and... its nose? No, just so we could get up and down <laughs> easier. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Get it like on a, a nose ring that's just a pulley system. That but eventually we can pack it on a ladder. Access right now, I'll just put a yeah. knot in its hair and knot that around the rope. And, yeah. uh, well, you know, do the gym class up and down the rope. Yeah, we'll put the ladder in later. Okay. Fine. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you climb down. Next to everyone. You talk to your skeleton? Um, yes. One moment here. Okay. Uh, if that's a sprinkle, then I think Ellie here might be able to know how to find some way to get it closed. Just, um, one moment while I go talk to them off, off the, over at the side here. Just I'm, one moment here. I've, well, I've closed one before. Oh, how? Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to just say how you closed it? I just killed everything that was there, then it closed. I mean, that's the solution I can get behind. But what if, the like, skeleton, one of... like, shrugs and does, like... But what if, like, one <laughs> little... That's one way to do it. What yeah. if one little fairy runs away, and you can never find it, and it never tries to kill you, and it just keeps it open forever? No, I, I think it's like they closed it, like technically, because like I was like, oh, so the you skeleton closed it. 
Okay. No, I mean, I technically caused it to close. Yeah, it was a tactical decision on their part not to further engage with death. Yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> dragon, so... The dragon flies up into the air to see what it can see again. I'll go can with I him. I have change back yet. Fair. Sorry? Can I shoot it closed? I ask our armored companion. No? I don't know. We're just going to 20 questions this, aren't we? Um, Does he play charades? It just gives us thumbs up when you say that. <laughs> okay. All right. How how do we close it? We walk to it. Okay, that's the gate. We walk we, to the door. We walk, do we okay. walk through and the we, gate. We hit the door. We beat the gate. Um, it's going to help you ponder it. It's going to help you ponder it. You're saying you got to go in there and break something come and, and make it back, right? Okay. I might not be familiar with all your customs up here, but that seemed rather fucking obvious. Anyway, I'm off on flying away. That seems, <laughs> that seems just like capture the flag. So going through the portal to another world sounds like fun. Okay, Let's what happened an elf before? Well, what happens if when we break it, it closes and we're stuck there? Do we get like thrown out? Oh, we run. So we break a thing in there and then we run. Okay. Do you have a sword? No. Okay. I hand Take our the shovel. friend one of like the dragon shovels. <laughs> yeah. It takes you are now it. the shovel. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just like puts jumps into the air, puts shovel below, him, and starts bouncing like a pogo stick. <laughs> um. Meanwhile, you see off in the distance, as uh you Mike are scouting, um you see yeah a, a glowing sphere glowing of with bright light um and out of the sphere emerges and has been emerging um many many fey they all look a bit different every time you see them um they all have different forms or something it seems the, uh, the you notice an immediate obstacle with this one um the orb itself is about 10 feet off of the air I guess it would be an obstacle if you didn't know the giant. Ten feet off of the air, um, and all of the fey emerging from it seem to have wings. Insectoid-seeming wings. Um, a set, uh, four, four beetle wings of sorts um, b behind them, and they are um, emerging in groups and uh, spreading about the area. Um, the fey themselves... Many of them seem to um, look like soldiers, these ones, um, and they are wielding, like, lances, most of them. And then, yeah, groups of three to five, um, oh. they are uh, spreading, spreading around the boiling lake. Yeah, I'll fly back down, and uh, looks like it's uh, some of them, they're scarab knights. You know, the ones with the wings and lances and what all. I mean, I also, heard all the, the, I heard the Scarab Knights were cowards. Well, you, <laughs> you, won't, you won't go tell them that? Tell them to fuck off on No, home, I heard the you're... Scarab Knights were cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, you've also heard <laughs> that their newest commanding officer is uh, kind of a hard ass and is make, trying to change that. I don't mention that bit. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All aboard the Giant Express? Choo choo. I mean, like, yes. If we want to get there, let's get there quick. Who's going to perch on his cowlick? <laughs> <laughs> or, like, to take one of the big arrows and shove it in the giant's back so I have a little seat. <laughs> um, right between I, two ribs. <laughs> <laughs> you open it in, sit down. 
I mean, I've got him with his arms out. You can sit on a shoulder. If then he tries to punch something, I go flying. No, we just need to sit on his, like, right here, his shoulder. I got it. I, I, I figured it out. Need an ear ridge to hold to keep you there. Or we could all sit in his mouth. It's very spacious in there. I think you're the only one going to be taking us up on that <laughs> offer. It's just you. <laughs> no. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, you all climb aboard the giant and direct it to start marching back towards uh, the boiling mirror. Um, the, the good news is the fumes are heavier than air, so they intend to pool around you. So mm. now that you're, you're like, yeah, another 30 feet up, uh, they're a lot clearer, the winds. So okay. you might be able to avoid needing to get to go to the beetles, basically. Oh, Sorry, plot, plot of order. Before we embark, could I have grabbed a bag of rocks? Yes. I don't see why not. I cool. don't see why not either. Again, that, that Until the plan sense. comes to fruition, then <laughs> yeah. we'll see why not. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, I have a bag of rocks. I'm 30 feet up. Like I, I'll Oh, you're going to Ewok it again. <laughs> I'm just going to Ewok it still. <laughs> Okay. Uh, as the skeleton clambers up beside me, I'm just going to ask him quietly. Um, Try it. I forgot my question. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, your skeleton's beside you. Um, it's looking around. It's. Uh... Yeah, and I think we see um, the as as the giant approaches, the Fae begin to notice, and you hear a. Uh, buzzing horn sound goes out around the area. Um, and many of the fae start gunning for you. What is your intent here? Kill everything around here, or go for the portal? Uh, charge the portal. How many is all around here? Like, when we see the scene, are we talking hundreds? Are we talking twenties? Are we talking... Mm, a f uh, yeah, a couple dozen right now is what you see. Several groups of, like, around five. Okay. But they're spread out across the entire... Uh, they're spreading across the entire mirror. Um, so... And I take it that momentum from the last site has reset again. Correct. It'll take all day to kill all of these guys. We just, just go, we just run past them. Past them into the portal. Is the portal big enough to fit our giant friend? No, not your giant, but it can fit you. It's about uh, ten feet across diameter. Okay, so we jump off the giant into said portal and uh, deal with what we ever we find there, while intimidating everything on the way. Int oh, okay. Because they're, they're cowards. cowards. All right, yeah. we'll see how this goes. And we have a giant, capital T, terrifying monster. <laughs> it is terrifying. Okay. I mean, chase moves. I think they are cha they are chasing you. I guess, but they're not trying to stop. They're they're trying to more. Hmm. They are coming from the place. You can't easily get away from them. But this still could work as a chase. Um. Yeah, let's try out chase for this. Escape. It's more of a. It's we a, are escaping their grasp. Through we're the oddly portal. escaping their grasp, you know, by going into the center of their midst. But we are running somewhere. Yeah. And they are trying to stop us. So. Okay. It's an unusual way to do it, but I think it can work. Um. Do we even know what we're looking for? <laughs> nope. Uh, the question I was asking the skeleton as it was up there was, um, does this have anything to do with the fact that we killed the giant, and is that the reason they're here, or...? Jake's his head. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, chase moves. You each start, both parties start with zero hold. Um, as you, the giant, like, gets in, in place and, and they start noticing, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you see is a group of them begin to charge towards you from near the portal, lances upheld, and sort of a... It looks like they're planning to do um, a sweeping run 
um, they seem to be able to tell that you are all, like, you're not, it, it is big, but it's not big enough that you're just dots on it. You're not fleas. You're more like squirrels mm -hmm. on its shoulder in terms of size. Um, so they're actually aiming for you all first. Trying to get, like, yeah, just stab you and, and get you off of the creatures. Um, what do you do? Question. The first order of business is, you know, try and intimidate them into backing off. I was going to say, is this technically combat? This is a chase. Um, if your intent is to avoid them, and it can if chasing can include fights, but it's not, uh, if, if the goal is not to fight, um, this could be combat. Depends I'm how you just approach this. If I get my steel gaze. Yeah. I think let's wait on steel gaze. Okay. So I'm looking um, at the. Uh, so the intent is just to like really make your, make your uh, giant like roar if it can, and be terrifying yeah. and just like charge through. That sounds like a good start. Brandish our weapons, make okay. the giant. Roar. Perfect. Um. Oh, I have no idea. What I would call are. that strength. Yeah, it's strength. You're creating a physical really? object. Yeah. That being the, the terrifying giant. giant. Yeah, you're you're just like yeah, you're using force basically, um, even if it's the projection of of force. Mm -hmm. But the giant will help. All right. In this case. Sounds good. Can I uh, drink some alcohol as I direct it to roar? No drinking and driving. <laughs> It's driving itself. It's not really a problem. Come on now. I suppose this is bold, so it would help if you did so. Beautiful. All right. And is how there a much, chase? Yes, there is. How much hold are you betting? Are you just going to try and go for all three? What do you guys think? I feel that... like this isn't an all three thing. Maybe a two, but... Yeah, I'd say do a two because doing all three is risky because then they would have all yeah. three and we'd lose. But I feel like we already have established that they're a coward. This should have more than just one effect. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two is good. Two seems fair. Okay. Uh, scroll. How many dice? Two. Advantage and disadvantage cancels out. And 14, 14. because the dice love. Ox cars. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yep, we're at two hold. The uh, <laughs> the creatures like scatter when they see exactly what's happening. Um, they pull off. They they're going for a dive for each of you, but I think they just like can't bring themselves to get close enough to do so. They just pull off early, um, and fly back. Um, they are close enough though that you do see um, <clears throat> each of the fey. They aren't wearing. Uh, anything like full play, you can see that they like their faces and stuff like that. Um, but they look. Um, there's something else covering them, like a film or something. Um, that you can't quite. Uh, you aren't. You're close enough to see that there's something there, but not close enough to see exactly what it is. Um, as they pull back, they definitely have some kind of of casing or something on them. Um. And yeah, then the. Uh, I think we see them organize into a bigger thing. We you see them <clears throat> right in front, um, and start organizing into a uh, phalanx. Basically, they start like going into a square in front of you, like some of them above the others. Yeah, um, um, pikes extended. Do we see the commander basically saying, "Hey, order, do this." Yeah, thing? Yeah, I think that's exactly what's happening. He's calling up everyone. Um, you don't see any more coming out of the portal right now, but you see one of the Fey. Um, they the they're like wings and and part of the normal like um, leather and maybe like a um, metal plate on their chest. Um, looks like it is in a bright blue color, unlike the others, which are fairly, like, metal and silver. It's yellow um, at the others in, uh, fey language. Can I... I... Oh, I, have a... I was gonna say, can we try to... Bl I wanted to bluff and say we can't stop it, get out of the way, <laughs> to get him to break <laughs> formation. 
Absolutely, if if that's good with everyone, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, you're submitting and betting the last hold. Yeah. Well, uh, um, if you win, it's last hold. Do I get advantage from uh, the terrifying giant? Not anymore for this case, I don't think. It has been helping you to, for the last one, it has established mm -hmm. um, that it is terrifying and that they yeah. aren't willing to easily get close to it. Can I help? Yes, how so? Um, I <clears throat> would like to help by calling on my reputation. I'm known for closing one of these gates already. And um, I think I say something to the effect of um, if you move, you keep your lives, but we're closing this damn gate as I'm shaking my forehammer. Okay. Yeah. Inside the giant's mouth. No, I'm, I didn't go in his mouth. That was I was suggesting we all sit in his mouth, okay? But if no one joined me, I'm on a show. smiles and all of you. You may there. have been relegated to said mouth from the previous <laughs> blimp. And I'm wearing the tooth, and I'm in. <laughs> I'm <laughs> slotted back in. <laughs> Just swimming. Okay. Yeah, that can help. The reputation. Nice. Very nice. An 11. The dice have been very kind to you. And um, you see they decide at the last minute um, the officer of course does not give the order, but the I think one of them scatters. One of them just like runs and then all the others as run. As soon as one go, the rest go. Yep. Um, they all dive. They all, they all scatter and you get through to the portal. Um, you, you're close enough that you just like you know, the giant doesn't have to extend his hand or anything. You just like jump into it. Um, and does it need me to stay outside to direct it or keep it safe, or can I just you know task the skeleton to do that? You can ask the skeleton to do that and see what happens. Uh, all right then, I will uh, do so. I think we need the skeleton to tell us what to break. Mm. True. We could ask giant my dragon. Fine on his own. Oh, the dragon can babysit. The dragon can babysit. Dragon. All right. Want to ask the dragon to babysit then? Oh, great and terrible Zadrax. Doesn't could the you dragon need babysit money? Our our little. It does. Giant. We're, you probably have to pay him. We have two coin in the crew fund. I would like to bribe him with one coin worth, and I will throw the other coin to the druid for pass payment. <laughs> okay, then yes. Zadrax will say, uh, fine. I shall do you this. Should, you should... Hold on. Let me see. Is greed... You should watch out. Greed is a sin, my friend, and I just throw him a sack of coin. I'm only taking what is agreed upon. Hmm. All right, and the, the other sack goes to the druid. As we jump into the portal. Okay, perfect. I think that's where we take a break. I think everything goes white as you jump into the portal. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes with part two and the inside of wherever this leads. Another giant's mouth. <laughs> Another giant stomach. Yep. You find yourself outside of a lake. It is... Um, Boiling alcohol, pure distilled alcohol. I light a match, campaign over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a portal to the alcohol realm. Okay, we'll be back in a few. The boiling alcohol 